128, longest consecutive sequence. Given an unsorted array of integers, find the length of the longest consecutive elements sequence. The algorithms should run in O of n complexity. Okay, they don't tell you n, but they should tell you that they tell you that it's in what uh, in O of n. They don't tell you n, but okay. Uh, hmm. So that means we don't have time to sort, even though I think. I mean, you can probably get away with it, but uh, I feel like that's not the spirit of things. Um, hmm. I would try to. F so you can only look at each number once. I think that's the uh, thing that I'm trying to think is well, four. Uh, are they all unique numbers? I mean, I think I just have two away, right? I mean, I think it's just like the dynamic programming thing. Um, on a hash table where, um, like that four, you you find the number of the longest consecutive, con uh, sub uh, just consecutive, uh, the longest consecutive sequence from five going down and then another one forming from three uh, and then is that good enough yeah I mean I think maybe because the only two cases one is you extend it but then you can tell hmm oh but then you could um, but then you can uh, update that numbers as well if you're connecting them. So yes, yeah, so I think in that case it's just DP. Uh, I mean, it's not a, I don't know. Oh, it's more like a medium problem, maybe. I think this, I mean, maybe it's just a problem that people know ourselves. I haven't done something like this in a while, so let me see if I could give it a try. But I think there are more edge cases, but I think you just gotta keep track of the smaller and the easier. Uh, Uh, I've, is that O of N? I guess that's O of N. Yeah, okay, maybe you're right. I guess putting everything in a set is O of N, and then, and then for each one, you're only going to look at each key once, so, or twice if you want to check. I guess that's true. You are right. I was doing it way more complicated than I need to, I think. Huh. I was going to do something really like fun and clever, but maybe it was just unnecessary. But because in the hash table, you're always going to only look at all oh, then hashed oh, lookups. Okay, fine. Maybe I'll do another one after this one then. Um, what hash is a keyword? Hmm. Is it like a uh, actually I want to set the is a is there an unordered set? Is set ordered in uh, Python? Actually I don't know. Like is it all of one or all of log n in Python? Oh it's unordered in Python, okay. And then there's an ordered set for Explicitly ordered set. Okay, that's fine. Then I could use a set. Uh, um, and then now, uh, I mean, you don't, the dupes don't add anything to it, so you don't have to care for it. Yeah, I feel like it's too easy, but maybe not. I don't know. Because then in this case, there's no way this is a hard. I mean, I think there's a dynamic programming solution too. Uh, but that's also O of N, so I don't know. And then, because all you're going to do is like for each key in uh, this hash set, in this set, uh, let's put, now it's not, well, let me guess it's a hash table, but. 
Um, oh, I guess this is not sorted. So, uh, hmm. I think that's the tricky part. Uh, so, uh, okay, maybe that's why. Because my my thing that I was gonna say is that um, um, hmm. Because if you assume that this will return to you in uh, in order, well, if a set is unsorted, then it could give it to you in any order, right? So it doesn't have to. So you don't have that property of kind of like a scan line type thing where you go from smaller to the largest or, or something like that. You could go to the middle and stuff like that, right? Um, but... But because you, you're not getting an order, you have to sort to get that K minus 1, I think, right? I mean, that's the issue. Um, like... Like you could do the k minus one after the k, and then you would just be messed up, right? Um, okay, so I think for that reason, I think it's actually those algorithms are all n log n uh, because it assumes that the set is sorted uh, and give it to you a uh, numerator. Uh, well, because we're, we're constrained, I mean, I'm just playing along with the uh, all of n complexity, um, but. Um, because if you check to see if uh, k minus 1 is an n, that just gives you like one bigger than them. But if you do it in a different order, like in this case, uh, I mean, essentially it gives you that order, right? Like where, you know, if it, if your for loop sets, stores them in 4, 1, 3, 2, then well, when you get to 4, well, 3 doesn't, three doesn't exist. Um, when you get to 1, well, neither 0 or 2 doesn't exist. Right, uh, and then only when you get to three, you're like, okay, this is a streak of one, and then two, a uh, streak of two maybe with three, right? I mean that's the problem, uh, because it's not ordered, right? Uh, I, yeah, I think this is for that reason it's not. Uh, and, and to be fair, a lot of sets like C plus plus sets on uh, n log n because they're ordered, uh, unless you use an un unordered set in that case. Um, but you would not get an iterator in order. Um, well, not yet. Like, like when you're scanning this. Uh, oh, I guess. Oh, sorry. But okay, let me correct this then. Okay, this is. Um, I mean, I think we're saying the same thing. I think, uh, but I. But I think uh, you need to be explicit in, and that's just one set. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that you're right in that this, sorry, I was thinking about the other scenario. But set does exist and this gives you two uh, as an answer, um, as a length. This will give you one as a length. This will, when you're processing it, will still give you a two, I guess. And this will give you a three, well, maybe you can merge them to do a four, which is the right answer here. But I think you need more information because uh, in a bigger case, you can imagine um, because I think that's what I was going with dynamic programming is okay. Let's say, um, let's say you have a thing where uh, you have one, two, three, four, five. Let's say you already did those, and then you have like uh, nine, eight, seven, six. Uh, uh, well, okay, maybe about the five. And then now, uh, let's say you, um, let's say now you check the five. You're like, okay. Uh, the longest subsequence or sequence in general, or I guess subsequence doesn't matter, uh, is now nine, right? Okay, that's fine. But then now, what happens when you get a ten? Well, ten, you say, okay, nine exists, but, but what is the, uh, the best answer? Right? Uh, I guess there are a couple of ways to do it, and it depends on whether you think. Um, I think I guess you're right. I, mean, I think there are a couple of ways to fix this. There's a dynamic programming way, but I think this actually comes to um, uh, a connected component where you can think of after you add them all to a set, uh, then you could then it just becomes um, a, a union either union finding or depth first search 
uh, the nearbys and so forth. Uh, I think that's fine. You know, though technically union finance not linear, uh, <laughs> but but I think you are right. Just that. I mean, I think you needed a little bit more, but I think you're right mostly, because uh, then now we can do. Um, yeah, we could do a. Uh, uh, I'm going to do a uh, depth first search check. Um, actually, because I'm doing it in Python, I'm going to do. Um, uh, a breadth first search, uh, because I feel like I got into a stack issue the other time, and you know, and maybe I need to because more than a thousand times or something, but um. But yeah, so basically now, given that uh, we can self-connect the components in in uh, v plus y, where v is the number of vertex and y is the number of edges, uh, and v in this case is n, which is the number of numbers, uh, and y is just, you know, you could go only 1 plus 1 and minus 1, so it's just 2 times n, so it's going to be all of n. Uh, yeah, cool. Thanks for uh, doing that. So now we're storing a queue. But okay, well, let's just say for K in S, B F S K. Uh, and that'll give me a count, and then my best will take the max of count and best, and then return best. Um, return x, um, and then right, uh, collections dot deck. Uh, and then now, well, it's empty. Oh no, wrong language in my head, so that's why I took a little second. Um, and also, q dot push. Is it now? It's a pen x. Um, uh, the current y, y is equal to q dot pop. Pop left. Um, and then we just want to um, hmm. What do we want to do? Uh, well, every time we pop, that's good. So let's just keep a count. Uh, so we start with count zero to zero. Um, but I think I'm also trying to think about a way to kind of so that we don't do it multiple times. So, but um, but if y plus 1 is in the set, is in s, uh, q dot append x plus 1. Uh, if y minus 1 is in the s, let's explore that. Um, and then now we just have to return count. I think this is right. There was n square right now because we don't clear it. Um, so I think when we pop, we actually want to remove it from the set as well in general. Uh, what can possibly go wrong? Uh, and then now, in this case, this, oh, maybe this full loop is weird because we're removing stuff from it while we're doing stuff from it. And okay, maybe I just, I was trying to avoid, um, avoid uh, allocating another thing, but let's just do it anyway, just keep it easy. S meaning done. Oops. Um, so now if uh, k is not in done, then we do this. Uh, also, do I have to set up best? Nope. Uh, so now say the best we can do is 0 as the default, or send it all. Um, and here we set, once we pop, we don't stop, we set the seem to true, uh, or just put in the set, I guess, because Are done. Okay. Yeah, so 
What? Dong dong dong. Maybe it well, it usually just means I have a while loop that I didn't do. Oh, because I don't check to see if scene is here because I just added. I was just gonna remove it, but uh um uh, um oops uh and why not in done and just to keep it from preventing it this actually belongs here uh, ahead of time so it can be added my indentation is weird um and also let's get rid of x when we do it And I would probably use a helper on this one, but oh no. Uh, hmm. Oh, this is why plus one, and this is why minus one. That's why copy paste bad. Maybe I'll help. Okay, fine. I said helper function. So, okay, let's do uh, 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 push help. Y plus one, push. Too much code. Uh, copying Do I, have a, I guess I shouldn't put it out here but uh, push uh, actually yeah let's bring the Q in the done and then the number the new X and then it's just the same thing which is if X is in I guess I don't need the done but we should get the Q um, if X is in S and X is not in done uh, well let's add the X and then Q could append X yeah slightly clear Fix to start. Fix to uh, copy and paste incorrectly issues. Uh, all right, let's yolo this. What's the running time for? Uh, probably a little longer than I like, but if not, if it isn't in pass, I blame it on Python. Okay, eh, not bad. Faster than eighty-seven percent. Um, yeah, definitely. Thanks for him, a cool guy. Um, yeah. Uh, what can I say? I mean, I think. For hard is probably a little bit on a easy side to be honest. So, ooh, love to see it. Oh, mm. uh, yeah. I think for your solution, you need to. Oh, I see what you mean. I I think I misunderstood what you meant. Okay, you are right. That is actually beautiful, and also much easier than what I did. <laughs> uh, I didn't know what you meant by n minus or k minus one. Um, you're definitely right. I definitely did this way more complicated. So actually, I think the way you did it, uh, especially let me pull it up. Actually, uh, you are right. Because um, I think I, my thing I, is that I worry about um, the possibility of uh, starting in the middle. But what you did is very clever in that um, it can start in the middle. If you only start at the beginning thing and then just go all the way up and then you count. Uh, so that makes sense, actually. And also, yeah, I need to think a little bit better about it. But uh, uh, yeah. But overall, I think mm, I think it might, like if you'd stop it right away, then I think it's a reasonable interview poem. It's, uh, you know, just regular connected components you see connected components all the time so definitely i recommend studying connected components um but i would say there's actually a more clever for loop thing so maybe it's too easy for an interview slash well wouldn't be easy enough for me clearly but um but it also makes it a kind of a bad interview question because um because there's just like like a couple of random e insights that sometimes you get, sometimes you don't, and that 
changes everything, right? But uh, but that said, you know, as usual, you kind of explain everything, and it should be okay. I mean, it's not that my solution is well. It is definitely <laughs> definitely not as clean and nice, but uh, but it still solves the problem in the same O of n. So I don't feel that bad about it per se. Uh, the extra whatever, but uh, but yeah. <laughs>